Thank you, Nate. All right, for some perspective, let's bring back friend of the show, Joe Jackalone, who is a retired NYPD sergeant. Joe, welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Bill. So, Joe, uh, you heard the statement from Pat Lynch from the PBA in New York City he talked about an anti-cop atmosphere. Now, given the political nature of any commissioner that comes in, how does the new guy come in and repair the damage that has been done? Well, it's very difficult for the new guy coming in. I, I wish him the best, but I, I think that the anger is really towards the mayor and not really so much the police commissioner. And, you know, we're going to see what happens. I, I think a lot of times they both unions, both the SBA and the PBA, looked at O'Neill and, and said that he, he was just following too much what the Blasio was telling him. And I think that's that's where the problem lies. I think some people think this tension started right away uh, just recently with Daniel Pantaleo being fired over the Eric Garner case. But really, you had the water dousing happening over the summer. You've had a, a spike in cop suicides. Things have been tense for a long time now. So this has been going on for quite a while. Uh, they don't view de Blasio as somebody who has their back, so we'll just basically throw them under the bus any chance they get. How about Dermot Shea? I mean, I don't know much about him, but here's the you know former now chief of detectives taking on the job as commissioner. Is he the guy that can solve this tension and get the cops feeling like their jobs are safe on the streets? I never worked uh, for for uh, Shea, but I, well, from I heard he's a gentleman. I heard that he's uh, you know he's very pro cop. The question comes down to is how fast does he turn into a politician? And I think that's what the cops and the unions are worried about. And I think they saw that with O'Neill happen pretty quickly. Yeah, seems to, certainly. All right, thank you, Joe. Good to talk to you.